Hello, I'm Kippy from KippyAtHome.com. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my yard. Today, my husband is going to be showing you how to make these beautiful scrap wood lanterns to hang in your yard. You're going to love them. These, these are beautiful at night as well as during the day. These are all solar lights, so let's check it out. Hey, welcome to our project today. Uh, all the materials we're going to show here are listed in the description below and also there on the link in our blog post with more information. So as we go through today's project, we're going to use these products and we're going to make a lantern with a solar lantern in it or globe. And we've got a few of the products there. And we also have a picture with our bracket pattern that we're going to use a bracket to make the hang the lantern with. And you can see a few of these pieces of hardware we're going to use some long screws and all outdoor quality screws so they don't corrode the lumber up here is a five quarter deck board and we're going to use uh, a piece for the bracket for our, our lantern hanger and the other pieces we're going to use as part of the top so five quarter deck board one and uh, one by two by any other some scrap probably need about uh, 30 two to 40 inches of that and a piece of one by four just cut into a square so first thing i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna set up my saw and i'm gonna rip my one by two down to a one inch piece of lumber and uh, i'm gonna cut off one inch because they were kind of rounded so i cut and they're damaged so i ripped off one edge to get a little bit rid of some of it and then I set my saw fence to one inch exactly and ran it through again and got enough lumber for my lantern uh, vertical posts that we're going to make. Now I'm going to do, cut my five quarter board we're using the miter fence to uh, five inches. I'm going to cut uh, square the end first and then cut two five inch pieces for the top and the bottom of our lantern out of the five quarter deck board pressure treated lumber right here I'm checking to make sure my fence is square I had it a little bit off so I'm using my speed square to make sure I got it in the right angle at 90 degrees so you hear I'm cutting off the end just to make sure it's square and then I'm gonna measure my five inches and cut off a five inch piece and I'm gonna use that piece as a measure and cut another five inch piece like i said this will be the top and the bottom of our lantern now i'm going to set my fence for just a little bit over five inches to cut the rounded edge off most deck boards have a little bit rounded curve edge on them so i'm going to square it up and i'm going to set it about five and uh, three eighths and cut off that first little bit on both pieces now i'm going to adjust my fence to five inches and I used the five inch piece I already cut to be a gauge for that five inches and ran them through the saw. And I run them through the other way again just to make sure I'm square. Now I go to my miter saw and I'm gonna chop off some eight inch boards out of the one by two that I cut down to one inch width. And you can see I put a piece of blue tape there. I pre-measured, I wanted them all to be eight inches so I used a blue tape to mark my spot and just work the board in little by little and cut four eight inch vertical posts. Now I'm gonna cut a piece of my uh, one by four for the little topper on top of the lantern. So I measured the width, it was about three and five eighths. So I'm gonna measure three and five eighths the long ways on the board and cut a square piece for the top. Here I'm marking the corners using my verticals the one by one at this at this point and just uh, marking it so I know where to pre-drill for my screws so I'm going to pre-drill so I'm just marking so I'm in the right orientation on all four corners and I just put a little mark there to indicate which way the uh, vertical is going to go and I clamped them together straight together and that way it'll help me I can drill all the holes um, the same time and they'll be all be in the same location my drill bit is set not to go quite all the way through both boards so but i drilled down oh, got a little stuck there so i drilled down so you can see the little marks on my board i'm staying within those lines 
to drill from our corner pieces. And with that, the bottom board is being marked also as I drill through into it. I put the tape on it so I don't go too deep when I go do the next part. So I pre-set my tape on the uh, drill bit. So that's a good idea to use your uh, piece of tape or something as a guide if you're drilling something that you don't want to go too deep into. And as you can see there in the second board, I've already got it. It's pre-marked because I drilled through the first board. And make sure you get your screw holes as straight as you can. All right, so I used the fence as a block to set it up. So I said just so to have enough room to overhang the edge um, and, put, and, and attach the top to the vertical legs of the lantern. I use an outdoor, uh, indoor Gorilla Glue, which uh, sets up pretty strong and it holds up to the to the weather. And I'm using an next year grade uh, trim screw to attach the top. Just a note here, I'm only gonna use glue to attach the top, not the bottom, because later on, if you need to take the bottom off to change or fix the, the lantern, you don't have to break it. You can just take it apart and do a repair or replace the uh, bulb or whatever needs to be done on your lantern. Like I said, these are going to be a solar lantern. Um, they're available. They're going to be listed down below in the description of where you can purchase the solar lanterns. And I'm setting this in place and I'm pushing it in there or setting the leg, the uh, vertical leg in place and I'm using the drill to just drill just slightly into the top of the vertical. Um, just to give it a little start because what happens when you're putting a screw in that uh, if you didn't pre-drill it might tend to walk on you and then it won't be in the right spot so if you pre-drill just just like i said an eighth of an inch into that vertical that that screw should go in right in the right spot if you get too much glue on your lantern and it's oozing out everywhere you can use a damp rag to clean it up and uh, get rid of the excess but just just a couple just a dab on each end will be plenty and here I am putting another on the other two legs. And these screws are also uh, self-tapping, so uh, that helps also. So just like I said, a little bit of pre-drill into the leg or the vertical, and it'll pull right in. These screws, are, I think, are one and a half inch, so you can, you can put a two inch screw in if you want, but I thought a one and a half are, is plenty. And try to make sure your legs are in the same orientation, so because they're actually three quarters of an inch by one inch. Now I'm gonna attach the little piece to the top. So I'm just gonna square it up on the top and see where it sits nice. And then I'm gonna hold it in place and flip it over. You could put a little glue on if you want, not necessary, but just so kind of measure and center it. You can just eye it up there or just use your measuring tape and just get a good idea of what, what center. And then I'm gonna use the same screws that I've used to put the legs on. They're one and a half inch trim screws. And I'm gonna use that to two of them to attach the top. No need to pre-drill with these because like I said, these are self-tapping screws and they will dig right in. Just check to make sure the top is still square and in the right spot and put a second screw in it. Now here I'm marking the bottom. This is gonna have to have a hole in it to receive our uh, solar light. So I had to drill a 7 8 inch hole. Uh, depending on what solar light you get for yours, you might wanna just uh, do some test drilling on a scrap piece and see what size yours is going to be. Measure it and then drill a couple holes with different size bits. This is a foster bit. You can use it or a spade bit for this. This foster bit is having a little difficult time grabbing in there so I had to do a, do a little bit of work on it but we get, we'll get it done. And if you have a drill press it'll work even quicker and get a better quality hole. It's always best to drill on a scrap piece of wood and drill all the way through. Here I was gonna to try to work the other side but it didn't quite grab so I had to go back to the other side and finish it off. But if you're drilling a hole onto a scrap, that helps it the, from not splitting out in the back. So now we gotta make sure we put our light inside the lantern before we assemble the, or attach the bottom because uh, it won't fit in there unless you do it prior. The, le the uh, vertical legs are too close together to, to get that globe in there. And we made it this way, one, because it wouldn't be so oversized, and two, it would prevent anybody from trying to pilfer or steal your globe if it came to that. So, And like I said, no glue on the bottom legs, 
because uh, you want to be able to take it apart for maintenance and change the bulb or fix the light or whatever uh, for whatever reason. And also you can see the green tag sticking out the back. We haven't activated it yet and that's where the battery is in the bottom. So you can pull it up and change the battery if you had to without removing it all the way from the lantern. And I just realized there I had, did not have my grain oriented in the same direction as my top. So I took it back apart and I'm reattaching. On the bottom here, I tried a different method of putting the screws in. Uh, what I found is if you put your drill in reverse and push your screws, push them in as hard as you can and make a dimple on the bottom of that leg, it, it kind of sets up a, a pre-drill just using the screw itself. So that's another method instead of having to use it, instead of using a drill bit. Now I'm checking to find the center of the top and we're going to put our eye screw in to hang it up on. So I mark the center, do a little pre-drill, just an eighth of an inch or so, just a little something to get it started and install your eye screw. I believe that's a 5 8 inch eye screw that I used. Now we're going to set up to make our bracket for the hanger for the lantern. So I set my, we're going to use a piece of 4 by 4 piece of scrap. Um, needs to be, the one I made, uh, needs to be at least uh, 17 inches long because it's going to finish. One leg of it's going to be 50, uh, 16 inches long and the other one is going to be 14 inches. So I cut two pieces of scrap to about 17 inches long and ran them through the saw and I cut them just over two inches for my first cut and pick the best edge you can out of that. Like I said, these are old scrap pieces of four by four pressure treated. And there I have a two by two, a little bit over two by two. Now I'm gonna adjust my fence to exactly two inches and cut the other two rough edges off of this. Just, just skin the edges so it cleans it up. Use a push stick. And if you're cutting pressure treated lumber and a lot of sawdust, it's a probably a good idea to wear a dust mask or a respirator to prevent you from inhaling the uh, dust from the chemical, the chemical treated boards. So now I have two two by twos. I'm gonna get rid of the, the uh, rip fence and I'm gonna use my miter fence and cut the ends to 45. And now I'm gonna measure my boards. Like I said, one's gonna be 14 inches finish and one's gonna be 16 inches finish. And that'll give us our bracket, the vertical and the horizontal portion of it. And I'm gonna reset my miter fence to 90 degrees. And I'm gonna use my speed square to make sure we're at a good 90. And cut these boards to length. Now I'm gonna cut a piece for the bracket, which is the actually the support for the bracket. And I'm gonna use a piece of five quarter lumber and I'm gonna trace my bracket pattern on there. And this has got two flat spots on it. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna use the miter fence to cut it at a 45. So that first edge right there is at a 45 and that second edge there and then the rest of it's curved. So I'm going to rip off the first part using the table saw. And I'm going to check my 45 on the miter. As you can see there, I'm going to cut there right along those edges. And those will be set up right up against the, the vertical and the horizontal part of the bracket. And I'm just going to flip it over because I know the opposite corner is right at that corner. Or I can change my miter and cut the opposite and look and see my lines on top. So I'm gonna line it up best I can and cut the other 45. Now I'm gonna use my bandsaw to finish rounding the bracket or the brace for our bracket, excuse me. And on the end there, you wanna leave the the tip's a little bit thick because what happens is they'll just chip if you don't leave a little uh, extra there. So leave about a little bit, about an eighth of an inch on the end. So there's a bracket finish cut and I will use the belt sander to clean it up a little bit. And you really don't want to sand the flat spots too much because you might get them out of shape. But just clean up the edges and it doesn't have to be perfect, just enough to give it a good even look. We're not going to stain it or paint it. Now we're going to assemble the bracket. I used uh, some four inch exterior grade screws and I'm going to pre-drill for those 
screw holes and I'm going to want to drill all the way through. So the longer board, which is the uh, 16 inch board is on top. That way they'll be the same uh, length and width. And I put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on them just to help enforce them, hold them together. And these screws take a different tip. They're a number 20 uh, star tip to put them in. So when you're out there buying screws, make sure you got the right type of apex tip to install those screws. And you can see I'm kind of like pulsing the uh, drill to put the screw in. If you just try to force it in and all in one run, uh, there's a good chance you're going to strip the screw or something's going to not quite go right. So best to just work them in little by little and, and work the screw into place. Now we're going to put the brace in place and uh, just kind of center it and put some pencil marks on there on your brace so you get a good idea where you want to put it. And I'm going to pre-drill for the screws and I'm going to use a, a one and a half exterior grade screw to put these uh, braces on the bracket. And a little bit more Gorilla Glue, give it a little more strength. And one thing nice about using screws, you can always pull it back apart if you need to and, and readjust. If you're nailing it, you gotta put your nails in, pull them back out, and it might make a mess. So just flush with the surface on the screws. And there's our lantern, and there's our bracket. We'll put a, eye, or put a, a hook in the bracket to hang the lantern on, and then you've got your eye hook in the top of your lantern. And there you got it. A simple little project uh, takes about an hour. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you for staying with us tonight. I hope you learned something and were inspired and ready to make the most beautiful yard you've ever seen. Um, you can learn how to make this trellis as well as these lanterns with our blog. So check that out at kippyathome.com. Y'all have a wonderful new year and see you soon.